happy holidays from me to you. And this is a comprehensive review of this 424 denim overthrow and a light indigo. Um, give you a little backstory. I live in Elk Grove, um, which is a little town outside Sacramento. Um, we don't really have any um, boutiques or shops that cater to the clothing that I like, um, streetwear, whatever it may be. We really do only have like fast clothing stores, so whether it be Zara, H&M, stuff like that. Um, so anytime I go on a trip, in this case I went to LA, I like to pick up something to remind me of the trip, um, you know, just get one piece uh, that I'm excited about, and in this case it is this denim overthrow. Um, if you haven't been to 424 before, it is on Fairfax, super dope shop. What I really like them for is that they like to bring a lot of unknown brands that uh, aren't really known to the masses into their into their store and uh, kind of keeps me up to date about what's what's out there and whatnot. When you walk in, they have uh, two rooms. So the first room is going to be their 424 products, um, their merchandise, whatever. And then usually like what's trending or like what's really hyped up right now. Um, when I went back in summer, uh, summer 16, <laughs> um, it was it was their 424 stuff. It was I believe the Fear of God, either a third or fourth collection at the time. Um, I don't know whatever number they're on. But anyways, so it was really came down between this piece and the Fear of God Harrington bomber. And you know, if I wanted to spend uh, a good amount of money, if I wanted to splash, um, I wasn't quite satisfied with the Harrington only because I couldn't justify the price being so much for something that I wasn't completely completely satisfied with. Um, I would have just normally just got the normal bomber, if uh, just a classic bomber from them, if uh, if they had it, which they didn't. They only had the Harrington. So uh, a little out of luck there. And I did see this piece, which I decided to go for. I believe it was either 420 or 424, and then um, plus tax, like 470, something like that. So it is a little on the heftier side. What really sold me though was uh, the light distressing. So you have a patch up top, uh, which is kind of like jagged. Um, it looks like they just went to work. And at the, near the bottom, there's just a solid patch also, just a square patch, which is cool because like nowadays when you see um, a lot of pieces coming out or just like newer brands on, through Instagram or whatnot, it's like, Dude, the distressing is like all over the place. It's like, instead of it being subtle, subtle distressing on your denim, it's now subtle denim on your distressing. Like it's, it's, it's getting a little crazy. So uh, just like the two patches really show off like how great the denim is because like something of this wash, if I had pants this wash, I would be, I'd be ecstatic. I don't, and I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the 424 denim, they're in line. Um, the fit doesn't work for me. I'm a skinnier guy, so uh, I, I couldn't get those. If I had something this wash, like I would want to show off the denim. Whereas uh, the holes are nice. They uh, they give you a little something to look at, but it's not needed to be all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Um, another selling point for me was this large elongated rear zip that goes all the way up the arm. It is a little crazy, but uh, I'm a huge fan of zippers. Um, I have zippers on on my jackets, on my pants on my shoes you know it's a uh, it's kind of a weird fetish I guess because they are elongated sleeves so they come down to your hands they cover up everything um, I was a little story I was eating I was eating Korean wings uh, not even too long ago and uh, it was a little chilly in the restaurant so I didn't want to take this off at the same time I don't want to get freaking sauce like all over my sleeves right so I actually unzipped this all the way took this off, just went to work on my wings, ate my rice, whatever, and then I just zipped it up after. And you know, people were looking at me weird, but it was like, you know, it's actually functional, which is cool because in some, just in higher end brands and, and fashion and whatnot, there's a lot of unfunctional things that go into the clothing, which is cool. I, I mean, like, it's cool that it's aesthetically pleasing, um, but it kind of just helps justify the price. Like, okay, they didn't just put this here to be stupid. like. This is actually something that is useful in a way. I mean, I, I love zippers, so I mean, just if it didn't do anything, that would be cool. But um, also, you might notice um, there's a small enclosure right here that's stitched in. That did not come with the jacket. So normally, it would just be you know 
playing everything. This is it opened. I was talking to my coworker. She's heavily into sewing. She does Etsy. And I was talk asking her like, Yo, would it be hard to put an enclosure here? I kind of just want to close it up sometimes. And she's like, yeah, super easy. Just, uh, you know, here, here's the enclosure. You can do it yourself at home. Not too bad. I was like, cool, I'm ec ecstatic. I'm, I want to go home and do this right now. Um, when I got home, I was like, you know, I know it's easy, but I didn't want to mess up anything. So I was like, ask my mom. She loves this stuff. Uh, she went to work. She put this in, we put it in the right spot. Now it is completely hooked. And you get kind of like a, a kimono action, which is cool because I own a couple brands, uh, or just a couple pieces of kimonos. And it's nice to wear something a little bit different than just your average blazer to a nice dinner. You can show up in a kimono and you look freaking badass. And um, the fact that it's denim is, I mean, that's cool too. I don't have too many denim pieces, so it's like, you know, a nice little touch. Also, the sleeves are a little on the more form-fitting side, so, um, which is nice because I think, I think form-fitting clothing it looks well aesthetically. It's aesthetically pleasing to the eye to have something that fits you. I know there's a huge, like, over, oversized trend going on with everything that's coming out right now, which is cool too. It all has its place. But being a, a shorter guy, I'm about 5'8", five, 5'9". Um, not that big either, I'm 140. Start to look smaller, or you're swimming in your clothing when it's not always fits you proportionally. And you know, when you have something like this, um, you do get some stack action, which is always nice from denim. Um, you can do it in the sleeves, it's gonna fade over time, that's sweet. The only downside I have with this, so it is getting a little colder now that it's winter. Um, I like to throw hoodies under here, get the hood on. You do need a lighter hoodie. What I mean by that is this new, or I mean not new, but the, right now the trend is like 12 ounce hoodies, whether it be Champion, you have the Venomont, Venomont hoodies with the long sleeves, whatnot. That's not gonna work under here because it is so form fitting that I wouldn't be able to move my arms. Like I would just be walking like this, like a, you know what I'm saying? Like it, you would need a lighter hoodie. I think Champion makes a, a 50-50 blend, which is the S700, which is a super inexpensive hoodie. They have beautiful colors. You should check those out if you want. That would work because it is lighter. Um, it doesn't it doesn't like bunch up so much. Whereas when you have um, a bigger hoodie, uh, it's not going to sit well underneath this denim overthrow. Other than that, this this thing is is perfect. Like I get compliments everywhere, whether it be open, where I can show my whatever, my graphic, my hoodie, whatever, or I can you know look a little more put together um, with the kimono look. Thank you for watching, guys. That'll be it for the review of the 424 Denim Overthrow. If you guys have any questions or you want to let me know about what you think of this piece, let me know in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, let's fix that right now. And you can hit that subscribe button. That would help me out a ton. And uh, until next time, we'll be doing more reviews, doing more clothing hauls, maybe some vlogs, some fitness stuff. Um, yeah, maybe we we'll start a little community. So uh, see you guys next time. Take care. Peace. Are you done? What are you doing? No, I'm trying to think of like my photo. I'm trying to think of your photo. But it's recording. Oh, it is? Oh, I thought it was playing. <laughs>